David Pollock and Jesse Palmer and guys can't wait to get this one started Kentucky about to kick off to get things underway on the run from inside his own five didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17 so Ole Miss offense takes the field to start this game off and this guy feels like a throwback. Back in the day, the running backs were always the stars. This guy fits that mold. And he can do a lot of different things, too. He's not a one-trick pony. This guy can tote the rock. He can catch the ball. Oh, it's on the ground. High ball. And the ball will bounce out of bounds on the fumble. Man, that's one of those where you just go, daggum, if we had a little bit more space, nice job creating the fumble, but just running out of real estate, not able to land on it. Man, you just get a little bit frustrated because you wanted that turnover. You caused the fumble. You just couldn't secure it. To the air. It's dark. Makes his connection. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. The Rebels want to pick up the tempo. He'll do it himself. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. And the Rebels will snap it on first and 10. From the gun, the ground game. Makes his man miss. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big bag. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. Pulls it and fires to the left. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the play fake. Coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Quarterbacks talk about it all the time. They love the clean pocket where they can step up, throw the football. That is not what they had. Nice job by the defense, beating the offensive line, disrupting the timing, and getting a nice clean hit on the quarterback. Looking downfield, it's dark. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. 
Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. What a disappointment. No good. Kicker tried to tack a few more on the scoreboard, guys, and couldn't do it. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They missed that 56-yard field goal, and now they'll pay for it by giving up good field position at the 39. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, him and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Here's the handoff. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Now they'll run the draw. Picks up just a few before he's brought down, not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Kentucky will be forced to punt. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to pass. It's Dart. He'll off one deep down the left side. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. On the run, it's Amos. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones, and they completely had him surrounded. And the Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He did a great job finding some running room on that return and was able to set up the offense with good field position. The give on the counter. Across the 25, he's got room. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Goes to the option. And not even a chance to pitch it as he is slammed down in the backfield. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Motion from the offense. Trying play action. 
unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long from the 25. And the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback. And they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll try to put one down the boulevard from 42 yards out. He got it. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bentley. Gets it across the 20 to the 21 and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Dart. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. He picks it up, still on his feet. Man, this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Well, the offense got themselves into trouble. They're back in their own end. It's an obvious passing situation. So the defense is just pinning their ears back and they're trying to get after him. They could not allow him to escape, step up, get rid of the football. They take a sack very close to the goal line. And the Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets it away from his own end zone. And the returner will be knocked down. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploit them. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Just enough room to gain a couple down to the 34. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. They really need to convert this third and one to capitalize on that great field position. Looking to throw for it. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. 
We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Kentucky has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Gonna run it. It's Trainum. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wants to throw. It's Vandergrift trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys into coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And they'll send out the field goal unit. And it's right down the boulevard. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. On the run, it's Amos. Bulls his way forward. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Got it. In the middle, it's Watkins. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. Play action does so many things. When you run the football, run the football and have success, it slows everybody down. Not just the linebackers and the safeties and make them come up, but the defensive line. They're thinking run as well. Slows down the pass rush. Gives me a little bit more time to develop routes and make it really easy on my quarterback. Dropping back, it's Dart. Unloads to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, that DB basically could have just ran that route for the wide receiver. He was all over him. There was no shot that receiver was going to be able to make that play. Beautiful job by the defensive back. They'll operate out of split backs. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Right down the middle. He's got it. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. They're going to sit back in zone. I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing. 
find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. The Rebels are in the hurry up. Looking to throw it again. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Defense, we're always trying to get some tips. You know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. And here comes play number six of the drive. Quarterback on the keeper. And it'll be a pickup of nine. They're facing a third and one. And that's what I love about the QB run game in this offense is it just keeps these defenses off balance. We're going to see a lot of running backs doing their work between the tackles in this game as well. But you see how mixing in the quarterback run, too, it just keeps this defense so confused. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. To throw, it's dark. He's got his man. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll keep it himself. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Rebels! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, drain the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn. And that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they're executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them on top by one. They go 83 yards on the drive, and it was capped off with the eight-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Looking downfield, it's Vandergriff. Quick completion on the out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Across the 45. Still running at the 40. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. 
Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. And the Wildcats are rolling down the field. They're going to ride this running back. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Give to the running back. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking for a man, it's Vandergriff. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. It is true as he puts three on the board. And now they regain the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Bentley. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening. Run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working, dude. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And the Rebels with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle, it's Harris. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. It's great to spread the ball around and fool him, but if you've got to do, feed him. And they are. No doubt, Reese. That guy is a problem. I mean, you've got a receiver that's so talented out wide, hard to cover. Go to him once. Go to him. For, shoot. Let's go to him a third time. That's a fly. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ole Miss. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. The 
TNT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. Well, you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. And now on second down for this offense. Back to throw. It's Vandergrift. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Now you find out just how much of a gunslinger you are. Will you roll the dice here late in the half, David? And you know the defense is going to be really, really conservative, so I think it's an opportunity to be able to take a shot, see how much of a chunk you can get before then you decide really, Jesse, how you want to finish the half. Just can't turn it over and throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You have got to be so smart if you're going to be aggressive with your decision-making. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Now improvising. Trying to escape and get it himself. The expressway is... And he can't hold on to the ball at the end of this big game. Oh, looks like the offense was able to recover it. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wideout. All right, defense. It ain't working. Right? We're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and mess up this offense. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Back to throw. It's dark. Unloads to the wideout. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Good awareness by the defense. In this situation on the field, you know there's coordinators that like to try to take shots deep down the field and catch a napping, but the defense was ready for that one. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there today in Oxford.
And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's head back to the Grove at our fellas at Vaught Hemingway Stadium. The Rebels will kick it away first and will start the second half. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They keep it on the ground to open the third. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll ride his man on the option. Now the pitch. At the 35, he's open. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Line getting set on second down. He'll do it himself. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. To the air, it's Vandergriff. Gets rid of it. Working that left side now. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Kentucky will be forced to punt. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play caller. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, Dave. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football and we got the lead. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. They go to the ground. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw. It's dark. Quickly complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. 
Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about the defender being a heat seeking missile he was on radar lock he found the football and flew down with some bad intentions couldn't get him blocked on that last one now it's second and 14. he's looking to throw and that's going to be incomplete a lot of contact on the play but no flags it'll be third down They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And it's picked off, bringing it back. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. How about the big fella? I know this is not in his job description to pick off passes, but the eye-hand coordination, able to get his big paws up there, stabs it out of Aaron. It was like he was almost surprised he had the football. Just start rumbling and stumbling once he had possession. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field possession than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Back to pass, it's Vandergriff. And he just threw that one away. Safe move, didn't see anything, lived to play another play. Third play of the drive, and they need to take advantage of this field position by making something happen on third and long. Fires deep toward the end zone. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. And now forcing the incompletion, setting up fourth. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They've already kicked three tonight. Right down the boulevard. It's good. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Makes the stop at the 33, but it's a 15-yard gain. Well, they get another big run for a first down, and if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement, and they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. The Rebels want to move quickly. Right back to the well. A stop him cold maybe gets a yard to the 34. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. A 
They think there's room to run to the right here. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Grabbed in the middle. It's Wells. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Watkins. And the defense had that one well covered just a short game there. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Grabbed behind the line. It's Priest Corps. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Quarterback can pull the trigger and down he goes at the 41. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Caught in the backfield, it's Priest Court. That's where they'll mark him, a very productive play and a first down. And watch the offensive line here. They all block and run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right, makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Caught in the backfield, it's Harris. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Looking to throw, it's Dart. He's got his man. Tight coverage there, did not stop him from making the grab it. First and goal from the eight. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we gotta just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. They'll go to the air. Grabbed in the backfield, it's well. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And what a nice play by the DB. You have to understand, that wide receiver gets that ball that quick. It's tough to get him on the ground. Nice job getting a hold of him, getting him on the ground for no gain. And the Rebels will hustle to the line. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. 
unsuccessful second down, and now I'm immediately thinking, I got a little bit more than I want, so what are my pass plays? What am I going to get into here offensively to try to have success on third down? If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. Quarterback strolling away from heat. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Rebel! That's the kind of skill that makes guys stars. The improvisational skills, the blinding speed, the ability to make the big play and make defenses look silly. Just straight silly. I mean, what do you want me to do? You put a guy that, that, that athletic, that fast, at the quarterback spot, and now you're telling me to defend the run, defend the pass, defend the scrambles. I mean, goodness gracious, I don't, I don't know what you want a defense to do. There's no stopping that guy. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, the lead is a dozen here in the fourth. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They got to get more creative, but whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Vandergriff. He lobs one high down the left side. It's a big stride inside the 10. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky! Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens, get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. All oh, Uncle Mo on your side. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap it off with a play that can build momentum, a 78-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. Right back to the well. Hard running there. He just never got started going forward. A huge loss of eight on the play. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. 
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Grab behind the line. It's Wells. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. And the Rebels will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Slips through the line. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. Second down now after the sack. Back to throw. It's Vandergriff. Makes the grab on the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. He's taking the shot. Makes the grab on the right. Touchdown, Kentucky. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with a QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Direct snap. He will be stopped short. They can't get the two-point conversion, and they're still up by one here in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. The Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. Finds his tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. So difficult, because my eyes tell me as a defensive guy, he's handing it off. The offensive line's block and run. I got to go get it. The quarterback pulls it, throws it to the right. It's kind of like that hidden hat game. Like, where's the ball? I'm always trying to find that daggone thing. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Catch in the middle. It's well. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. When you play zone coverage, when you got a wide receiver that's a beast, it becomes very, very difficult. Got to make sure I play physical and maybe even shade the side of the wide receiver having a lot of success. And the Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. 
after losing a couple on that last play here, second and 12. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. A touch out of field goal range. They need to pick up yards quickly on third down. Back to pass. It's dark. Flushed out of the pocket. Short gain on the play before he slides. And the quarterback's in the pocket, and he decides to take off and scramble and just couldn't get to the first down marker. You could tell he wanted to pass the football. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe he scrambled a little bit too soon. But usually when you take off, you better know you're going to get close to that first down marker or get it. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got him, and they convert. And he's chased out of bounds, but not before he gets the first down, stops the clock, and has them on the move trying to get the late score. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10 from the 13. They'll run it. It's Amos. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Running back searching for a hole. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. All right, fourth and short. You need a field goal to take the lead. There's less than a minute left right now. I don't think you get aggressive here on fourth down. Just kick the field goal to give yourself a chance to win this game. Field goal is good. And with just over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? They get the stop, they win this game. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's open on the right. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Yeah, and you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understand the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Brown. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Well, I know it's early in the drive, and you're just trying to get completions and get the drive going, but this is two minutes, and you're trailing. I mean, you've got to take some shots down the field and be a little bit more aggressive, put some pressure on this defense. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. To the air. It's Vandergrift. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. 
Third downs are so crucial in quarterbacks. You want them to be, you know, elite with their functioning, be able to go through their progressions, get rid of the football, not take sacks. But they just took a sack. How about the individual effort by that defense, understanding third down, and getting to the quarterback? 